We're going to start off by waking up our hands and feet, almost like a warm-up. So I would like you to sit nice and tall and straight in a comfortable position on a sturdy chair. You can even do this um, on your sofa if you wish, if a lot of us are spending time on our sofa during lockdown. We're going to wake up the hands and feet. This is going to help just boost our circulation and exercise is so important during the coronavirus to boost your immune systems and keep us ready and primed to fight any potential infection. Start off by just opening and closing my fists. So I'm opening, lengthening out my fingertips and making it into a fist shape. Opening and closing. This is just aiding circulation in my hands and my forearms, getting the blood flowing. And then I'm gonna close into a fist and I'm gonna start doing 10 fist rolls, just in one direction, using full rotation of my wrist. I'm going 10 in one way. Breathe, relax, try and engage your stomach, your core muscles, and let's go 10 the other way, trying to make nice big circles with the wrist relaxing everything else, just getting some movement in our wrists and hands, and two, and one. I'm then going to start pointing and flexing each foot. So I'm pointing and flexing, pointing and flex. So I'm really pointing my, finger, my toes and flexing. Point and flex. Let's do five on the other leg, point and flex. So really point them out nice and straight and then bring that front part of your foot towards you in a flex position. Point and flex, point and flex, good. Now we're gonna do some little ankle rolls. So I'm gonna lift one leg and just roll out the ankles just like I did with my wrists. Again, boosting circulation. That's it, five one way, five the other way. Nice big circles, rolling those ankles out. And last one on this leg, let's change legs. Point the leg and let's roll five in one way. Breathe, relax, sit nice and tall, keep your core engaged this whole time, and then five the other way. That's it, all the way around, really getting some mobility in my ankles. Perfect. Now I'm going to do some single leg calf raises. So all I'm doing is pointing up, keeping one foot flat on the floor, I'm pointing my other heel, I'm going on my tiptoes and pushing my heel up towards the ceiling. I'm going to show you that from the side as well. So if this foot's on resting on the floor, I'm lifting that heel up and down. All the way up and down. You should start feeling this to strengthen the lower part of the leg by the calf. So the higher I go on my tiptoes, the more I feel it in the calf. And let's try the other direction. I'll just change sides. You can do this facing forward. It's just easier for you to see. The other legs relax and I'm lifting that heel up as high as it can go. Really trying to strengthen the lower parts of the leg. And up, good. Five one leg and five the other. Now you can, on the second round I'd like you to do, do both heels. So let's try and bring both heels off the ground and down. I'll show you that from the side so you can see clearly. I'm bringing both heels up and down. Good. Relax the shoulders, sit nice and tall, engage your core. You can just relax the hands down, lifting those heels up as high as they can go. Lovely. All the way up and down. Now to make it a little bit more challenging you could do another set of 10 of those or you could go up and try and hold for 5 to 10 seconds. 4, 3, 2, 1 and 
and down. Now, as I'm lifting up, I'm holding, I'm really squeezing, contracting these muscles. Three, two, one, and down. Let's go again. Let's try three more. I'm just going for five second holds. As you progress and you get used to the exercises, you can hold for longer. So I'm keeping that tension in the calves and relax. One more. Let's squeeze and lift on my tiptoes, lifting the heels up. Three, two, and one. Excellent. On this one, it's going to work the core, the obliques, which are around here on the sides of our body, and it's also going to help our back and spinal mobility. So I'm going to sit nice and tall on the chair, and I'm just going to bring my arms up and twist as far as I can towards the right and back to the middle. So twist over to one side and back to the middle. We're going to exhale and inhale. Really twist round. I can feel that in the middle of my back in my core it's a really good one especially if you've been sitting for long during the day it's going to help us keep our spines nice and mobile three more and two we're aiming again for 10 repetitions of this and one more great 